special shout out to our ring girls, Asia and Lauren, joining us from Hooters tonight. Great ring girls, excited for them to be here. Expect to see more of them on this next fight. Julie Cancelloni Toledo takes on Dominique Gallagher Gonzalez, second female fight of the night, both women making their professional debut. I'm Antonio Perkins, joined with Scott Groff. Are you ready for a possible fight of the night? If it's anything like the first female fight that we saw tonight, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, as we break it down for you, Dominique Gallagher-Gonzalez, tremendous fighter, right? I, I say that about everybody, but but she has this certain fierceness that's ready to bust out. A controlled destruction, if you will. She's not an emotional fighter. And when I spoke to her at the weigh-ins, one thing that Dominique says about herself, she really loves the Diaz brothers not for the vulgarity, but for their technique inside the cage. You know, and she wants to mimic some of their style in this fight tonight. Well, she's gonna get her chance. She's had seven amateur fights, fought the same woman twice by default. So now as we see her in the cage, she's focused, she's ready. Dominique Gallagher Gonzalez making her pro debut. She's ready to take it anywhere. When I spoke to her about one of her fights, she had her opponent in the clinch and was whispering her to her in her ear. I love this fight game. I love fighting you. Let's go out and have a beer afterwards. That's awesome. She's got a great outfit on too. I call it an outfit. Oh, that she's ready. Isn't that what women call it, an outfit? Julie Canceloni Toledo, born in France. Husband is born from Brazil. She just had a, a baby nine months ago. Yep. yep. Here and, she is. And Antonio, I saw her warming up out back, baby in the carriage. She was on the mats warming up. Husband there as well. I mean, it's just awesome. When I spoke to her for a little bit, I watched two of her fights. The head movement on this woman is unbelievable. She began with Taekwondo, much like Dominique. She transitioned into Muay Thai and finally went into, after MMA, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. With your husband being from Brazil, it's only natural that you're gonna follow that suit. Canceloni. Yeah, and if not, you're gonna have marriage problems. Yes, leg kicks to die for, head movement, boxing phenomenal. Dominique is a Taekwondo tactician. Phenomenal fight. I need this for my car. This would be great in my car. I gotta get my... Let's see what Shazam says. And here we are. Don Turnage, Canceloni circling the cage. A nod from, the, from Dominique Gallagher Gonzalez as we set up for XKO 30, we we'll give it to Travis Baxter. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest will have three three-minute rounds. It's in the 125-pound weight division and sponsored by Nick's Bank. Your referee in charge of this contest is Don Turnage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the fighters fighting on the blue corner. She's trained in MMA and tonight is making her professional debut. She stands five feet, six and a half inches tall and weighed in at 125 pounds. Representing Battle Tactics Academy, from San Antonio, Texas, Dominique Crazy Legs Gallagher Gonzalez. And her opponent, fighting on the red corner, she's trained in stand-up and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and tonight is also making her professional debut. 
She stands 5'3 and weighed in at 125 pounds, representing Twin Wolves MMA in Illuminate 24 Gym from Harker Heights, Texas, originally from Caseca, France, Julie Cancelloni Toledo. Unbelievable. Had a baby nine months ago. Does that remind you of Alice Yager? A little bit. All right, two women that mean business. Whoa! Did you just see that? No, sir, I missed that. Smiling. Toledo, Cancelloni Toledo smiling as they touched gloves, and a switch was turned on for both women as they went back to their corners. The smiles went away. Well, I'm going to make this easy. Julie in the black, spinning back kick. Dominique is going to be in the uh, floral. Man, these girls oh and going. Oh. They are going to town. Man, this is a. This is just two women just out to just hurt each other. Now, see, Cancelloni wants some distance because that's what she does. She kicks. She punches. Good head movement. She knows how to circle out and work the cage. Dominique. Wait, expect to see the legs, and if it comes down to a takedown, now she can use elbows. A oh, big body kick. That's the Taekwondo coming out. Yeah. Look at that tie clinch. Dominique with the really big body oh, kick. Oh, a nice elbow. Cancelloni's just going to give herself a little moment. Yeah, Julie's just going to see if she's going to turn this thing around right there. Switch over, pull the elbow down nice and hard. Clear it, clear it out if she can. Definitely putting that pressure on by Boy, Do Dominique well, Gallagher Gonzalez. Yeah, 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 Dominique is really pushing hard here. I like that. I mean, Dominique is really pushing hard here. Now, if it does go to the ground, Dominique is a little bit more experienced. This is something new for Cancelloni Toledo. Even though she's married to a Brazilian. Well, as she said, it was the, the final piece to the puzzle that she's been training for some months now. So now, we, if it goes to the ground, There's which it trip. is, we're There's gonna see if, if the hard work has paid off. Yep. Hook in the arms, full guard by Julie. Now, Dominique needs to get those arms from out, posture up, and as you say, let the bombs rain well, down. Well, that's exactly what she's trying to do here. Watch her to push the head down. If she can free up an arm, put a forearm across. All right, not not any not very much movement right there. Kind yeah, of a Don, stalemate. Yeah, Don Turnage started them back up on their feet. Great job by by Don Turnage. Wow, spinning, wow, just missed spinning hook kick, just missed. Now, that's actually an arm triangle right there. If she sucks it in, she actually has an arm triangle from the standing position. That's an arm triangle. She switched over to the bicep. If she could take her to the ground and switch over position, she might be able to choke her out. But from this position, she could still get the submission. Now she's going to let it go. Unfortunate. She's going to make her pay for that. Toledo wants no part of the clinch. She wants to keep the distance. Yeah, she's looking for those spin kicks. That's an axe kick right there, something you'd see in Taekwondo. Expecting that to see that from Gallagher. No, she's putting everything she can into those kicks. But the distance is, her distance is off. You know, Dominique looks a little bit confused. Okay, like, now look, there's that, what you were talking about. That was kind of that Diaz brother type of deal. Better keep those hands up. She can throw that switch kick. Or that, uh, Whoa, sorry, that okay, kick. thank God it missed. Yeah. But yeah, there's that Diaz brother stance. She put her hands up. We're going to see more of that in round two, I expect. Uh, I hope so. And we're back at XKO TV. 
XKO 30, a gas monkey live. Toledo taking on Dominic Gallagher Gonzalez. Round two, here we go. Well, Julie is a little wild. She's a little wild on her punches, her kicks. Oh, but, she's she is connecting. Yeah, but she's she goes all out. We're looking for her lows. You can see her setting up her spinning back. There this. it is. Much more aggressive on this round. Yeah, she didn't she didn't like how that other round, the first round went. Boy, really trying to connect that spinning back this is Julie trying to hit Dominique with that. Dominique would do well to, to try and do some of that Diaz brother punching right now that she discussed with you, you and know, close the distance. You don't want to be out here. If you watch Dominique, if you watch her face, she talks to her opponent. Now, right there, she ate a couple of punches, so she needs to respond back, not with words. Yeah, Julie, talk, Julie just talked to her first, asked her two questions with her fist. Okay, that was a slip, but we go back to that to that arm triangle, or that arm choke. It's a standing arm triangle. Basically what it is, it, it is what it started out to be. Now she's 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 lost it, but she's using it as a good clinch maneuver. Be interesting to see if she can break this and start striking from there. Don Turner's keeping a close eye to make sure both these ladies are working. Good knees by Dominique. Nice, dirty. Dirty boxing on the inside. Oh, I'll tell you what right now, man. Both these fighters have great cage control. Back to the ground. Here we go. There we go. Dominique with a nice trip. Julie on her back. We'll see who, we'll see who wins the game here. Now Trapping she's got, that leg so she she's can't get that She's mouth. in half guard. Now, look, she's going to try and trap that arm right down. If she can trap that arm and start punching, we could see some damage happen right here. And that's exactly what she's looking to do, Antonio. She let the leg go. Now she's yep. got to get it back. You're either going to have to let one go or let the other. Thank God she didn't bring that arm down and trap it and inflict damage. That, that would have been it. Don Turner's watching to make sure if they need to stand up or not, but they're working. They're working just fine. Yeah, lot, just enough action to keep it going. I mean, both these ladies coming in here for That's the That's what I was talking about right there. Fast and furious. When I, when I spoke to Dominique, I asked her, why don't you see more women use the knees while you're on the ground to the body? It's available. It's there. Yeah, and you can see here she's trying to break out a half guard, which I'm not really sure why you would want to do that when your opponent's against the cage. She's actually in a wonderful position, that half guard, to work her striking. Allows her to posture up. Look how her lower back goes down. The butt comes out. She's able to get better posture and hit. And now right now she's just going to grind her out with those elbows. Yeah. Those short little elbows. They don't look like much, but they are a pain to deal with. Yes. In a round two. In a round two. Gentlemen, as we prepare for round three, the third and final round. Both women really trying to feel each other out. I mean, there's so no far. Feel, there's no filling out, man. These, from they're the going, moment, the first round, they went all out. Well, round two. A little more so. A little bit more control. A little round more. three, what is it going to bring? I know, we'll see. Julie came out real hot and heavy in the second round. And Dominique, Dominique's pretty much kept her game the whole time. Yeah, she hasn't, she hasn't. It's been strike. Oh, there's that Diaz brother. Ooh, man, nice, nice leg kick. This is where it's gonna happen. 
Gray circling out. Cancelloni definitely coming oh, in. Oh, big. Oh, man. Big elbow. There's that elbow. Both, both women exchanging elbows there. Dominique hit Julie with a really big elbow. You know, you can definitely see right here, Cancelloni wants to trade gloves. She wants to trade leather. You know, Dominique, she wants to pepper you up and take you to the ground and just grind you out. Just a nice little welt on the back of uh, Dominique's leg there. I'm telling you, those leg kicks from one or another, it's going to take its toll at some point. But right now, it's all about trading, trading leather. Oh, nice knee. Both both ladies very, I mean, I mean oh, big Ooh. elbow by Dominique. Set that up real well. And, and it's not often you see, this looks like almost like a tie fight. They're clinched in the middle of the cage. Now we have them both right here, right up next to us. You know, Julie needs to get that hand on the hip, try to get some distance and try to pivot out. She could pivot out right now if she can just get her hand on that hip. And Dominique doing really well. Has an underhook. There she goes right there, and that's what we're talking about, pivoting out. Well, again, use it, use them, using, using those underhooks to turn to turn your opponent one way or the other on the cage. So there important. it is. And yeah. each lady has one underhook. Julie bleeding a little bit from the nose. Dominique will take her over to the other side of the cage. Continue to work from this position, throwing some nasty knees, having a lot of success. Both ladies have matched each other in aggression, I believe, Antonio. But Dominic seems to have landed the better of the shots and has also had ground position and takedowns like this. Okay, now we're back to the ground here. You know, of course, Dominique has been going for that 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 half guard, that side mount. Yeah, but she's in full mount right now. Just got her got her hooks in, trying to trying to. Well, this ought to be interesting. Now there you go down, right to the head. There you go. Now she knows she can't posture up and drop an el and drop a hand or a fist on her, so she's going to go ahead and go for the elbows. There, and now, there, now she's the up. Fist. And this is where it becomes real interesting. She's going to lay on her, going to lay on Julie a little bit. Again, it's about control and posture up. That's a beautiful move. Now right there. Move. Now that's, that's what we move. That, we should use it right in a keto. We should use it in a keto. That's right. And this is a Valley Tudo style move right here. Total perfect MMA control. <laughs> That's it. Controlling the hand, striking to that face, helps her opponent up. That's that's classy move. Very nicely done. Both ladies, very nicely done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought bouts or rounds, they scored at 29-28, 30-27, 30-27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Dominique Crazy Legs Gallagher Gonzalez.
Tim Roman, can you make your way to the cage? Tim Roman, can you make your way to the cage? Tim Roman. Dominique, we, talk, we talked a lot at the weigh-ins. Congratulations to your opponent, Julie. First off, what trouble did she give you? None. And my second question is, we already talked about this. Who? I think she's a very skilled opponent. I watched all her footage. We have a very similar background. It, it looked as though she did Taekwondo. I did Taekwondo growing up. I expected all those kicks. Um, I know the kicking distance, so she was throwing them, but she wasn't in range. So she could have given me a lot of trouble, but she stayed out of range, so she did not give me much trouble at all. And that was my second question, because you and I spoke about your background, and I spoke with Julie earlier, and just like you said, Taekwondo was the foundation, so I was gonna ask you, that's what I expected to see out of you, but when she brought that to the table, it really didn't affect you one way or another. I knew she was very strong. I knew if she hit me in the face, it was gonna damage me, so I kept the distance, and she didn't really close that distance until we were in the clinch, so that didn't pose much trouble to me, but she could have given me a lot of trouble. Now, I noticed you wanted to keep, keep grinding her out, keep her against the cage. You know, and you almost had a triangle, a standing triangle a couple of times. Was that something that you were kind of preparing against her through your camp? To clinch up? Um, no, I actually wanted to stand up. I thought it was gonna be much more of a stand up battle, but it wound up being a clinch. Like I said, if someone's a good hitter, I'm not going to let them hit me in my face. Now, I know that you like to talk to your opponent, and that was something that I actually heard over here. You want to talk to your opponent throughout the fight. You definitely showed cage control tonight. So what, were the, what was the best evaluation of your performance tonight, in your opinion? She was very strong in the clinch. She did not give in. That was a little tough for me. So how do you, how do you, how do you see your performance tonight as making your professional debut and you're undefeated tonight, congratulations. I'm just happy I came through, that's it, yeah. So tonight we saw a little bit of the Diaz brothers, who you love to watch tonight. We saw that tonight. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it. What happened? I was in the mode. I don't know, you have to remind me. Yeah, when we watch the tape, Scott and I were checking you out. Great job tonight. Is there, is there anybody else you wanna thank tonight? I just wanna thank everybody who came out, whether you liked the fight or you didn't, you liked me or you don't. You're here to watch, I appreciate that. We trained very hard to step in here. This is not a game. Um, thank you to all my friends who drew, drove from San Antonio. I appreciate, appreciate, you, I appreciate you guys, my family who came out. I love all y'all. Thank you, my coaches and my teammates who fought tonight. They all inspire me, so thanks to everybody. You know what? We're leaving the amateur career behind. Guess what? Undefeated. Go have a beer. Uh, not, tonight. Not, not tonight, what do you? After, after I recover. Yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. 1-0 as a professional. That's how we started. Dominique Gallagher Gonzalez.